Right, good morning. This is Paula from Fairy Chic Emporium and I have this beast to do today. Um, it's a bit of an ugly old piece of furniture but I'm hoping we're going to transform it into something beautiful. So this is kind of my idea, my starting point. I ordered some moulds to make myself some angel wings and I'm going to make them with silicon and I'm going to put them on each door front. I'm going to do a sort of renaissance effect with these kind of range of colours again with this. You've seen me doing this before but we're going to do a bit more of it today. And lastly I'm going to, I think I'm going to use my stamps from IOD to create some kind of quote on the top when we're done. So a bit of process to do. First thing I'm going to do is get the resins done and stuck on and then a solid coat of paint over the whole thing. So I'll come back once we're a little bit further down the line. Right, so I have done two solid coats of this sort of pale grey colour. I've got my wings on. I think you'll agree they look fab. I'm quite pleased with that. And I'm, they're going to be the last thing I do because I should do those with a smaller paintbrush. But for now, I'm now working on this kind of blended technique using all those beautiful shades I showed you earlier that just go with each other really well. So. All I'm doing is just using a scraper randomly, really. I've got this kind of beige colour on and a light bluey grey. But I'm also going to be dipping in, putting some white. Like that. I really want to give the impression that this piece has been painted over and over again and that the layers of paint have chipped away. So my last weapon is this old bottle which we cleaned out. I put a bit of white paint in it and diluted it with water. Um, not much but again can you see this lovely subtle drippy effect. Now you can either leave it as drips or again use your spatula to blend. If you have to work while it's all wet blending all the colours in together. So I'm going to carry on on the whole piece in the same way going around till I've got a colour sort of palette that I like on the whole piece and then I'll show you what that looks like before we go on to the next bit. Right, new day and I've done lots of layering and lots of splattering and this is the point where I've kind of decided I'm relatively happy with it. Now this is the point where I go back to my sanding and I'm using quite a strong grit, I think it's about 80 for the showing up the old wood, the edges, but I'm using a pad which is much softer, doesn't scratch so much, to blend the big surfaces and it will end up blending this even further than what it is now, so it'll sort of bring the whole piece together. Right, let me show you this little area. just it moves the colours all together can you see so that looks much much more part of the piece rather than the area over there so I'm going to carry on doing this sanding this all back and then we're sort of back to the last decorative bits and um, I'll show you what I'm going to do there okay right so I've sanded it all down and as you can see I've, I've done quite a bit of distressing particularly around the door areas which would be more worn. I quite like the, I just like the oldie worldy look. I think it all pulls it together. And let's not forget, it was a very lovely dark brown underneath, um, which is a shame not to show off because it always looks good when it's distressed. I've um, found a mould with some feathers on and made some little resin feathers. These aren't stuck in place yet because I'm going to put them in place afterwards. But I just wanted to show you then. And now I'm on to my quote. So I'm using an IOD stamp um, and I have taken out all the letters that I needed and I've kind of positioned them. These are all the letters that I need to make all the words, believe it or not, um, but I've positioned them to help me keep things, the spacing right. Um, I've chosen a quote and the quote is, feathers appear when angels are near, hence the feathers and the angel wings, so that will all go together. Now. I'm not going to do this on a block, I'm going to do it a bit haphazardy. So I'm going to use a stipple brush and some white 
because I didn't want these letters to like really stand out as majorly whatever if you did them in black they just I just wanted the whole piece to look pretty so I'm stippling I don't forget this is chalk paint so if it goes wrong I can just literally wipe it up and print again so it's no disaster so there's my F it down it's a little bit of movement I think it will be okay and peel it off now that's not a very very clear print and I might go over with a small brush but at the moment all I'm going to do is get get the impression of my stamped letters all the way along so I'll carry on doing that and then I'll show you when I go back in with a smaller brush all right Right, so by the time I'd finished doing all of the letters, they actually showed up a lot clearer than the first one that you watched me doing. And I think it's a little bit about the position of where that was next to all the white. There's been a, a few areas that I've just gone over using a smaller brush a little bit, but I didn't want to take away from the look of it being a stamp and a bit sort of rough and worn. So when it's all properly dry, I'll probably even sand it back a little bit more and make it look more faded. I would, I didn't want it to really pop out, just be pretty. I have stuck my feathers in place and just painted them with um, a white and a grey just to give it a feathery look. And the last thing I've got to do is use my little palette here of uh, ranging from dark to, oh, maybe that's dark to light. So here's my shadow, there's my highlight and my middle colours and I'm going to be using them to do my angel wings. So I shall start with the dark underneath to be the shadow and then start building on top of it in layers of paint just using a little brush and playing around to see whether it looks good or not so when I've got a bit further through the way of doing that I'll show you what it's looking like so see in a bit right so I've completed my first wing and I just think it looks lovely it's really blended in well um, I specifically chose this colour because it goes with the the bits that I've rubbed back as well I thought it would look better than black and I think that's works so I'm going to show you how to do it I don't know if there's a right or wrong way of doing it but this is how I did it I've used that color first I've put them in dark to light order use that color first I've pretty much splodged it everywhere making sure that it's in all the grooves because it's going to be the shadow so now I'm done with that color and I'm on to my next one in order so I'm going to go along the top of each feather on the outer this outer edge and again you can see I'm not I'm hardly doing it delicately so you can have a go at this so I'm going to use this top this section as the greys so doesn't have to cover up all of the colour underneath yet, it's just the next shade of shadow really. And I'm not going right to the end because that's going to be nice and light. There. I'm pretty much done with that colour, so I'll move on to the next one. Now this is going to be more this area here, the underneath. Still got a little bit of grey on my brush, but that's okay. And because it's all wet, it's all blending in.
quite a long time but I like that about a piece when I fall in love with it as it gets more and more along the way. I love these angel wings, I'm going to be using them again. Uh, they've just really popped what was a horrible piece before. The quote, the stamp on it, I just, I love it, it's subtle, you don't, you can ignore it if you want, put cups and whatever on it or you can have it as part of the thing. I just love the whole thing, I love this technique of scraping and splashing. Have a go, I would love to see pictures of what you've managed to achieve using these techniques. Thank you for watching, until the next time.